In this video, we're going to learn how we can recreate Facebook Messenger's icon. We'll get started by creating the lightning bolt part in the center of the icon. First, let's grab the squares and rectangles tool, and let's create a rectangle. Next, let's switch to the pin tool, and with cusp node snapping enabled here, let's click this node of the rectangle, hold control and click down here, then let go of control and click somewhere up here, then close off the path. And for now, let's turn off the stroke by shift clicking this red X down here. Then give it the same fill color as the rectangle. We now want to switch to the select tool and duplicate this object with control D. Then let's flip the duplicate horizontally and vertically with these two buttons on the controls bar. And let's drag the duplicate over here until it snaps to the other side of the rectangle. Next, let's select all three of these objects and turn them into a single path by going to path union. And we can hold control and make this a bit bigger. We're now going to add a stroke to this path. We can do this by shift clicking a color in the palette. Let's make it the same color as the fill. We also want the stroke to be thicker and rounded at the ends. For this, let's click this button in the commands bar to open the fill and stroke dialog. Now let's switch to the stroke style tab and change join here to the rounded option. Then let's click in the width box here and scroll up the mouse wheel until the ends are as rounded as we want. That should be good. Okay, so the ends look pretty good now, but we want to add more rounding here and here, and also round these inner corners some. We can do this with the corners fillet slash chamfer path effect. But first, let's go ahead and click the object twice to get the rotation handles, and rotate it a bit so it looks more like the Facebook icon. That should work. To add the corners path effect to it, let's go to path, path effects to open the path effects dialog, then click the plus button at the bottom of the dialog, then click the corners, fillet slash chamfer icon here to add it to the path. The corners path effect lets us round or bevel the corners of a path. The default is to round the corners, which is what the fillet mode here does. And all we have to do is start changing the radius parameter here to round the corners. However, this will round all the corners by the same amount. We want to round them by different amounts. So first we need to check this change only selected nodes box here. Now let's switch to the node tool, select the node at this corner, then hold shift and select the node at this corner down here. We can now click in the radius box and scroll the mouse wheel until it's as rounded as we want. Then we can select these other two corner nodes in the same way and just give them a little bit of rounding. All right, and the last thing we want to do with this object for now is to flatten the path effect by going to path, object to path. This is now a normal path again, and we can resize it if we want without causing any problems. Let's now create a large circle to use as the icon's background. We can hold control to create a perfect circle. But let's turn off the stroke. Now we can go ahead and change this other object's fill and stroke colors to white. Then let's shift click the circle to select them both. Click this button in the commands bar to open the align and distribute dialog, and click these two buttons in the dialog to center the objects vertically and horizontally. Now let's select just the circle, and click this button in the controls bar to move it below the objects. Next we want to add the little triangular part that comes off down here to make it look like a speech bubble. Let's do this with the stars and polygons tool here. We want to choose the polygon mode up here, and change corners to 3. Let's go ahead and choose the same fill color as the circle, and let's turn off the stroke. Now let's click and drag to create a triangle, and let's hold control and keep the left side of the triangle vertical. Okay, now we can move it over to where we want it on the circle. Now let's select both the triangle and the circle, and let's union them together. And we want to round the corners of this as well, so let's switch back to the path effects dialog, and add the corners path effect to it. Let's check change only selected nodes, then switch to the node tool and select this node down here, and increase the rounding a lot. Now let's select these two nodes, and give it just a little bit of rounding.
Okay, that's pretty good. Now let's flatten the path effect by going to Path, Object to Path. Now we're going to add a radial gradient to this object by going to the Fill and Stroke dialog and switching to the Fill tab, then clicking this button here to apply a radial gradient. Now let's switch to the Gradient tool here in the toolbox, then select the Center Stop, and for the color, we're going to change the RGBA value over here to 0695FFFF. Then we can drag this stop down to the bottom corner. For the next stop here, let's change the RGBA value to FF6968FF. Now let's hold Ctrl and Shift and let's drag this stop up here. Holding Ctrl and Shift will make it so that the other end stop moves by the same amount. Next we want to double click the gradient line near the center to add another stop there. Let's make the value A334FAFF. Okay, and now we have a pretty good replica of the Facebook Messenger icon. We could of course play around with the nodes and angles and try to get everything perfect, but I think it's good enough for now. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next one.